and hungry. I spend every Sunday just living good. Might do a little fishing, a little hunting on the weekend. With a bow, I'll be sneaking back in the woods. A little bit crazy, every now and then maybe. Like to kick off my boots and get lazy. But I'm living good, yeah. Just a redneck Robin Hood Hey, I'm living good Back in the woods Alright Well, today we're going to camp at my buddy Russ's camp I know for sure we're going to do an overnighter But I want to try to stint it for two two or three days if I can just depends on my buddy can handle the cold if not it's gonna be one night and all this gear on my back got 60 pounds worth of camping equipment Yoshi, if you remember this area, when we was living out here, we used to camp on this river all the time. We usually bounce to different spots. I see fire. Somebody got a fire on a river. Hopefully this will be good. Hopefully camp trip goes well. I need this camping trip. I need to get it out for a while. Feel like I'm cooped up in a house. Feel like I'm in, in jail, locked up behind the cage. Kind of hard to adjust to having a place to live. In the woods, I got freedom. I'm used to doing what I fucking want in the woods. <sighs> this way, Bobby. Walking up on a bicycle trail up to the flow wall. I kinda glad I got the chest mount for this camera, YouTube. I got my hands free now. We gotta get over here and over the wall. The thing we do, we wanna feed Yoshi water. I'm, I'm thirsty too. We had that water for a little bit. People don't like people recording them, but they don't realize in public, you don't got privacy. Oh, there's a tent down there, you two. And it ain't gonna last long. The city will tear it down. Cause they're behind the daycare. I don't like it. City going around tearing people camp down. You gotta look at them. Somebody kept it behind the daycare. They think that's kind of suspicious. They think you're up to no good.
This spot where we camped it looked like somebody been down here. Let's go check. Looks like somebody threw garbage everywhere like they always do. That's why I don't associate most of these motherfuckers around here. Because they're not worthy of my presence. They don't know how to respect nature. Uh, they don't respect me. They disrespect nature, they stick, disrespect me. See? Somebody been down here the last time I was here, you two. See, Yoshi knows too. All right, we're gonna move on. Our mission's not here. Come on, Yoshi. See, well, I've been living out here long enough to know. I, I can tell if somebody been in my camp, if somebody been at the spot last time I was there. I know if somebody's sneaking up at my camp. You learn to tune in your senses. Your hearing, your vision. My vision's poor. I got poor. I got to rely on my smell and my hearing. You can smell somebody coming. But plus when somebody do fresh do laundry, clean their clothes, or you put a bar of soap on, on their body, that fragrance, I can switch that right out of air. It blows in my wind. Yo, yeah, she's looking for a spot to pee. <laughs> Somebody's burning some type of rubber or something. I saw a smoke over this way. Go my buddy's old Camp Lee. He moved on from it. Could be somebody there because I saw smoke coming from this way. Somebody could be burning all copper and stuff. That would smell like two metal heating up. Like between rubber or like plastic and metal heating up. I see something down there yellow. It's moving. I think I see something. It looks like it's yellow in the wood. Could be across the river. I think it's across the river. Yeah, it's across the river. You can see everything across the river this time of year. And the smoke is coming from Newport's, the American Steel Company in Newport. Come here. And check this, my old camp out. My Lee used to camp here too. The old fire ring I used to have there. Pit. There's somebody been down here. Been stomping around. The last one went down here. Lee's all over the place. Yeah, somebody been down here. See a fresh trail right there? That's a dead giveaway of human presence. Humans got a wide, animals got a small, even deer. Lee used to camp here. This is his old fire right here. Or Yoshi used to walk across. Well, YouTube, it's nighttime at my buddy Russ camp. Sorry I didn't make much videos today. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'm start making videos. I got busy. I was looking for my buddy Russ before I, uh, after I went to his camp. I really want to do a camp setup, but tonight it ain't going to happen. I was thinking about tying the tarp off the tree here and hang it right here somehow. I got to be careful. The river's down there up, if you can see it. Let me shine my tack, new tackle flashlight on it. Damn. 
I'm still figuring out the, how to work it. Second setting. The, I'll turn it off. There you go. There you go. That's the highest bright it could go. 2,000 luminance. Yeah, the river is up. You can see where the water is at the tree. To, and they put, it's supposed to be past that tree there. All right. We got to be cautious tonight. Not to get up here fast. Yoshi's right over there sleeping. And he's not really cold right now. I'm going to get the shelter off a block the wind. I got to figure out which way the wind's blowing. I can make sure the wind comes off of us. It'll be a lot more warmer. It's still going to be cold, but it'll be warmer. That's all of the point. It's stay warm. The tree's up there. Leaf in the tree. <laughs> Plane in the sky. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll do some camp setup. Tonight I don't have to skip out on it because I will go look for him. Then I decide to go get some food and and something to drink about and water for Yoshi because we ran out all the water we had. We drunk it all. We have to go restock up our water. Yeah, I got some soda pop and we're good. I, I'm eating my dinner now. Not right we're talking, but I, I've been eating on it. I'm going to get camp set up. Hopefully tomorrow I have some a better videos. I knew today it might be the day I'll be busy. Didn't have time to uh, show everything. I am going to make a gear video for you guys. I'm going to do that probably tomorrow. You guys won't get this video for a couple, two or three days anyway. Probably four. I got to edit it. My phone timestamped this. I know what time a date I did it. And I could put it in a video. The time and what day. I want to sit her all day today, day one. Practically. We left early this morning from the house. Hopefully, we could do, like I said, in. Do freaking um, two or three days. I'm going to see what my buddy Yoshi uh, is capable of. I don't want him to suffer. If he starts feeling like he is suffering, I'm going to pack my shit up. It don't matter if it's the middle of the night. I'm taking him home. Hopefully it won't come down. That last time we did an overnighter, he did fine. He was shivering, but he was fine. and woke up in the morning, built a fire. He ran to it and got warm. I think he'll be fine. He's a trooper. We've been through hell and back when we was living out here. kind of hard to see without a good light if I break out my tackle flashlight again you can see it around in the woods there you go my buddy's tent over there Yoshi camp <laughs> I was thought about right here but I don't think that would be a good idea put the tarp this way it'd be too low to the ground I thought about that uh, I, I don't like being too far away from camp we could have put it right here on that tree, but I thought about that tree. That'd be the best bet. Right close to the fire pit where I, I could keep Yoshi warm. I could build a fire in a heartbeat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the tarp. Under the tarp, actually. I made it a different style tarp. I made it this way. Actually, it's more warmer that way. It's blocking the wind. Yoshi's right there. I, and yet you see, I got my tripod in my hand. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow, uh, what I'm going to do in the morning when I get up, after I wake up, I'm going to show the whole shelter set up all around camp. Then, I'm going to do, a, uh, if I stay out an, another night, I'm going to try to come down at during the daytime and show you guys the full setup. Well, I should watch me, have you guys watch me set up my camp. Uh, that's what I wanted to do at first, but I got busy. I had to take care of some things in town. 
Yoshi's food, pop, muddy shoe, boots. Pop is my new tactical flashlight. That's my new newest part of my gear. I'll put that in the gear review. This is going to be awesome. Yoshi's ready to go to bed. <laughs> he's like, tell me, get the fucking light out of his eyes. Oh, he's sniffing it. <laughs> Food. A pack over there. Water back there where my hat is. Under My hat's on top of it. Other gear. I didn't build a fire tonight. If Russ comes tonight, I probably book one. I'm too tired to get one going. There, he got wood over there. If it comes down to it, I will use it. I want to try not to use the stash if I could keep from it. I want to get up tomorrow and collect my own wood. If I did use the stash tonight in the emergency fire, I will replenish it what he had. That's common courtesy. Hey, Yoshi's uh, good food. Rivers that way. <coughs> oh yeah. I know something. I can hold the camera more steadier with, in my, without being in my hands shaking all the time with this tripod. I got a flexible tripod and a a tall tripod that uh, is portable for camping. That like 50, 51 inches, I think, when it, you pull it out. But. Uh, compact enough where it could pack it up in your pack. I do a gear review on that. Huh. What's that? Mud. You can tell I go camping in a lot. I had this for a while since summer. I will end up buying me another one. <coughs> I need something I could pull it out like that. It'd be awesome. It'd be like a tent with the front open. Yeah. I work on this better design. I got this idea off the internet. This type of style shelter out of tarp. Yeah, just what I see if I need to pull it out like that. See, you got more room in it. It wouldn't work for the night. This is the new shelter I uh, put up. I'm used to making lean, lean to a frame and a lean to with a flap. That's my usually my configuration. Uh, I like to try something different. I saw this a basic design on the tarp. I said, "Hell, I'm gonna try it out." Oh, I got the fire going. I know that's a lot of logs. I had hypothermia. Uh, you know when you have hypothermia, when you all the max stop shivering. You're shivering, your body staying warm. When you you're in the cold. And you stop shivering, and that's a uh, sign of hypothermia. And that means you need to get your shit together, get a fire going. I just pile these motherfuckers on there. I'm at my buddy's camp. I borrowed his logs. <laughs> I'm gonna go collect some more wood for him tomorrow. It won't take me long to collect him a shitload of pile of wood. Only about a couple hours to get him a stack of wood. Replace what I took in, I'm gonna give him another stack. <laughs> I feel good now. The core temperature is rising. I feel it. Been out here long enough to know what the signs of hypothermia is. And I could quick think and react to it. I might stay up all night just to keep the fire going. I got Yoshi over. I'm about ready to bring him over when the fire dies down where I can put small stuff on it. Where he's not getting his fur catch on fire. I just hurry in a hurry and built this motherfucker. I just st stack all the woods on there.
I gotta remember to leave my old flashlight for rust in this tent. I brought it here. I fully charged it for him. Damn, the river, the river is rising, ladies and gentlemen. Might have to ban in this spot. It, it got higher since I came here. I'll show you. See, it came up. It's getting higher. I might have to stay up all night and keep the fire going. If the river gets too dangerous, it gets right up to right here. I'm packing the shit, my shit up. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do if my buddy leaves camp. I, I, Not Lee's. I don't know why I say Lee. I mean, uh, Russ. <laughs> Hypothermia is still kicking in. Being delusional. I'm, I'm warm now. As you see the fire. Damn, that river is up, boys, ladies and gentlemen. If it gets up higher, I'm going to have to pack up my gear over there. Right here. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still working out the kinks on the flashlight. How, how to use it, right? See, I keep my jet flashlights in my pocket because the battery drains dead in a cold. You keep it in your body temperature. It works perfectly. That's what I do with the phone. I'm done recording. I'm gonna cut up the rest of this. I gotta keep an eye on that river. I might have to pack up. I could pack up in five minutes. Cause that don't look good, it went up. At this time of year, this river's dangerous. Even in the summertime, we get heavy rain. My body core temperature is jumping up to normal now. I drink a lot of water, it help. I want to see what's across the river, ladies and gentlemen. That's the steel company I knew that. I was trying to, I heard something over there. I see something glowing. Probably just a part of the building over there. I just realized in here glows in the dark when you shine a light where you can find your light in the dark. That's pretty cool. Well, it's like 2.31 in the morning. I can't get no sleep. I'm worried about the river all rising up. And I thought I'd let the fire burn down. I got one of them nights I can't sleep. I so I let the fire burn down. I go underneath the sleeping bag with Yoshi. And at 6 o'clock I pack camp up. Head to town and get some food. And head back to the park and make the gear review. And I gotta come down here to take care of some business and probably head home. I was gonna do a couple of days, but by the time I do all this, I'll be too tired to set camp back up. <laughs> Cause I'm tired now. I just get nervous about that river rising. Part of life out here. Sometimes you don't get uh, any sleep out here. It is one of those nights. I'm not going to get no sleep, and I still got to make a, uh, a review of the uh, tarp in the morning set up. Sorry I didn't get to show you the whole setup as, as I go.
And I want to do a couple of nights, but I would be too tired to eat by tomorrow to set up camp. Unless I come down on a river and take a two or three hour nap, but I can't do that. I gotta go replace this firewood I just used. And that's gonna take a couple hours. I'm gonna give him a good stack. And I won't even have energy to set up my own camp. It is what it is. Sometimes it's like this out here. You can't get sleep. Yoshi's over there. I think he might be going to get his food and water. If you can see him. I'm about ready to roll up in a ball with him over there. Keep We share body heat. We both get warm. I got my thermos on. Oh, I'm warm now. I saw, when I got the fire built, where my core temperature, I threw my thermal underwear on. I just threw it on top of my pants. <laughs> then fuck it. <laughs> I take them off in the morning when the sun comes out. Because when we, me and Yoshi start walking, we start our body temperature start going up when we start pumping blood through our body. Oh, I just heard a fish jump out of the water. Well, I want to pack up and go home. Because the river's getting up too high, too close comfort. comfort. I've been up all night. I can't get no sleep because I'm worried about the river. And we got an idiot that's stalking camp tonight. I want this dude. The, tar camp, the whole setup of the camp. To sh go around the, the tarp. And the gear review, I do another day. I promise you the gear review will be coming out tonight is a bust. The ridge line for the rope. The wet spot from where actually the it got frozen right there. It's starting to thaw out from the hot coals over there. I was thinking next time, take these out right here. Uh, on this side, see, it got more with a pole, and the on the other side the same way. Have more room. It won't be down like that. It'll give me some more room. All right. It's a full camp setup. Show you the inside. Yeah, it's but. Sometimes you don't get it all peachy out here. Life ain't peachy all the time in the woods. Yoshi's there. He's cold. He's shivering. Inside. See, if I would have put that out like I show you, I would have more room. See? Next time, I know this is the first time I did a configuration of the tarp. Next time, I will put rope out on each side. My buddy Russ Camp, he's not home right now. I just got the fire going again. I'm just letting it die down because I decided to pack up camp. That river's getting too high. It's getting close to the tarp. Uh, too comfortable right there. It's still got a little ways to go, but that's too in my comfort zone. It's time to get it shit packed and go home. My gear is in there. Uh, what I want to do, I want to take the tarp down first, then I get the rest of the shit on the inside. I like this little flashlight. It's just my, I just got this in the, uh, a mail not that long ago, a couple days, like three or four. Tarp the baby up. This is the fill test. 2,000 luminance. It got more modes. I, I do the whole uh, mode for you. First mode, that's the stage one. That's the lowest bright, medium, and high. 
a strobe light. And SOS. Not worry about draining the battery. We get ready to go home. I can charge it up at the house. I got my solar power battery banks with me. I brought both of them. All right. Turn this light off. <laughs> Yo, she's shivering a little bit. I see him. We're gonna get ready to pack up, take him home. Keep cover him up with his with my um, seat bag since I'm not sleeping in it because I've been up all night. He keep getting out up, getting on top of it. I'm mainly going to go because of the river. I'm not going to sit here any longer. It's going to go up that way. I just pack up camp after I record this video and we'll start heading home. I sit this one a bus, but I still upload all these videos. I, not all of them. I just want to put them all together and make a one big video. A lot of YouTube uh, p channels do not uh, put their failures on there. I put my failure. First failure. It was all going good all day. Till 10 o'clock, I start getting hypothermia. I had to run out here and build a fire. Then I, when I got the fire going, got warm up, throw my thermal underwears on, my thermal shirt and my thermal underwear. I got warm. I was trying to light to look for something, and I saw the river up. I said, oh, man, now I get too close for comfort. I won't have to pack up and go. I'm just, I'm just showing out here, life has made all that great sometimes. Right. Just like I was at Doe Run Lake, I didn't realize the creek I was getting water from, I was boiling. It was all private property because the fence was, I mean, the sign was behind a bush. I couldn't see the private property sign. And the guy came down and said I was trespassing. And I told him, I said, you should um, uncover that sign, tear that bush down where everybody could see no, uh, no trespassing sign. If nobody could see it, they don't know they're trespassing. Plus, there ain't no fence around. He said I made a good argument. He had uh, take care of it. Hopefully by next spring he can take care of it because I'm going back up there this spring. But there's some public, most of the public land that's the part where the creek is. It was private property. And I, the Doe Run Creek and there's a, another creek. I forgot what it's called. And the lake, I can get the lake water. I got the water filter I order for that. My next, next time I'm going to have that water filter. That's what I bought it for. I could get it straight out of that lake. I made a clothesline here. A little small one. I can hang some clothes up. It gets wet. Because when I hear your clothes get wet, you got to hang it up fast. It built to get the fire to dry it out. I took the, the with the leftover ridge line from my tarp. I usually use use it all when I set it up in the A-frame but I didn't have to use it all because I made, made it like that I believe that's called a pyramid <laughs> yeah I got the hiccup <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we got coyotes just stalking the camp I heard him cross the river howling. I heard the other one howling over that way. Shit. That's why Yoshi was huffing and puffing, growling and barking. He's right there looking too. He he hears him. I'm not scared of coyotes. I'm just worried about my dog. He's small. They could get him. He's on his chain. They can't lure him out. He's on a 25 foot chain. We're packing up anyway. We're going home. 
See, we got the tarp almost packed. The gear. Yeah, there's coyotes out here. I knew that. I camped on it by Rizzo, so I hear them all the time. Hooping and hollering. Look right up in camp. And when I, I, when I had the Yoshi in the summertime when that happened. And I'd hurry up and drag his ass in a, in a tent and zip it up. That's when I had a tent. Now I got a tarp. <laughs> it's going to make it more easier for them to come, and come in if they wanted to. This time of year, coyotes are hunting in packs. Starvation. In the summer, they're, they're scavengers. They, they only go a row alone. But in the wintertime, they come in packs. Wow. What a night. <laughs> I wish I had called them chirping and stuff down here. And never fail when I, as soon as I grab my camera, <laughs> if they stop doing their shit, I basically catch them. All right, I want to finish packing up camp. I gotta get home anyway. I gotta get some sleep. Tonight it was a rough night for me because I worry about that river right over there. <laughs> There's Yoshi. He's looking around. <laughs> he here, no coyotes. <laughs> 